Welcome back, everybody. Let's take a look at what's happening in the South Korean markets. And, of course, we've got earnings continuing in the game publishing sector. And we also saw craft and following up on its peers. And, you know, when it comes to the this particular sector, it has been a tough quarter for many of these names. And uh, it was really particularly the case for NC Soft, who reported earlier this week. And as you can see, some in investor disappointment playing out in Crafted as well. And the net profit actually declining by 33.8% on the year. So coming in at 97.6 million U.S. dollars. And it's really about the mobile segment taking a hit as well. And of course, uh, we'll be watching uh, some of the other uh, game developers uh, just to put this kind of price action into comparison. So perhaps a pull up aboard for South Korea's game stocks altogether. The sectorial theme so far this week or in this earnings season has been a negativity across the board. But uh, we do see NC Soft trying to rebound from the earlier uh, the sell down that we saw earlier this week, but uh, eking out very small gains of 0.2 percent. Net Marvel still reeling from the, the earnings related pains down more than 3 percent. Now, let's uh, pull up a board for South Korea's tourism-related stocks because this is really the sector that is bucking the trend of the day in a big way. We're talking about um, tour operators, casino operators, hotel operators. In fact, we've got the cosmetic stocks also getting bid as well. Green across the board. We're talking deep green. For example, Asian Airlines really high, uh, higher by 6%, was it? Amora Pacific also bought higher by 6.7%. This has to do with all these multiple reports in South Korea suggesting that China as early as today or as early as this week according to some reports is set to allow group package tours to South Korea and Japan. Remember COVID restrictions obviously for years and then earlier this year um, some relaxed rules to allow group tours to countries like Indonesia as well as Thailand but South Korea and Japan were excluded from that list. If indeed the group tours are allowed, we're talking about some undoing that was in place for over six years. So a big rally happening in this space. Now that's what's happening in South Korean markets. Japanese markets come back from a lunch break in a few minutes. We'll get you up to speed with the Tokyo trade when the street signs returns.